Hi friends, in this video let us see fashion response related question asked in GATE 2009 EC paper. The question is the time domain behavior of an RL circuit is represented by LDI by DT plus RI equal to V0 into 1 plus BE power minus RT by L sin T U of T. For an initial current of I of 0 is equal to V by R, the steady state value of current is given by a i of t tends to v naught by r, b i of t tends to 2 v naught by r, c i of t tends to v naught by r into 1 plus b, d i of t tends to 2 v naught by r 1 plus b. Right? So, what they have given? They have given the time domain behavior of RL circuit that they have given. And what they are asking? The steady state value of current is given by. Okay. So, this question we can solve it in two different methods. Right, so first I tell you shortcut method, then we will see how to proceed mathematically. We know that under steady state condition, what happens? Under state, they ask the steady state value of current. Under steady state condition, transient response dies out. Transient response is zero, right? and uh, inductor will be short right the response is purely depends on posed response only so the response depends on forced response no natural response right these are all the things we know right and it doesn't depend on initial condition it doesn't depend on initial conditions, right? So, from the equation they have given, we understand that this is RL circuit, right? So, from the equation we understood, from the equation it is understood the circuit is RL. Right? Why it is RL? It has only resistance and inductor in the equation. You see it is L and it is R. So, it has only RL circuit in series. Right? RL series. So, for series RL, for series RL, under steady state we know I of T is equal to I infinity steady state current that is given by V naught by R. So the answer is option A. Right. So this is the correct answer. How to prove this? That is the point. This is logically we can prove this. So it is a shortcut. But how can we prove? So what they have given? They have given L D I by D T plus I R is equal to V naught into 1 plus b t power minus rt by l sin t u of t. What I need to find is steady state current i infinity. So, i infinity. So, if I want to find why I take Laplace transform. Why I take Laplace transform, you will understand. So, take Laplace transform. Right. So, for Laplace transform, s into uh, l, s into i of s minus uh, i0 we have to put but the initial condition is 0 under steady state we'll leave it so plus i of s into r that is equal to v naught for one laplace transform is 1 for this one what is laplace transform b e power minus r t by l into sin t for that laplace transform is for sin t right 1 by s square e power minus r is there so it is shifting so s plus r by l whole square plus 1 right okay this indicates uh, what about i of s i of s is equal to v naught divided by l s plus r 1 by s plus b by s plus r by l whole square plus 1 
now i got i of s but what i need is i of infinity so i of infinity i can write as limit t tends to infinity i of zero sorry i of t right so limit t tends to infinity i of t is equal to i know if i use final value theorem of laplace transform it will become limit s tends to zero s into x of s or i of s here. right so s into i of s so what i do here i substitute limit right s into i of s s into i of s s into i of s is nothing but v by uh, n less plus r fine and it is i multiply by s i of s that is 1 by s plus b by s squared plus r squared by l squared plus one is it okay so what will happen if i multiply s inside limit s tends to zero s tends to zero v by s tends to zero so if this s i bring inside multiply with inside so it is l s plus r it will be s plus b s divided by s square plus r square by l square one is it okay right so s tends to zero means this part will be zero fine okay so this is s by s not s multiply by s s by s it will be one this part will be zero what i will do again from here s by s so now i substitute s is equal to zero if i put s is equal to zero this part will be out this part will be 1, this part will be out, so v by r. So i of infinity is equal to v by r. This is what we proved logically in the first case itself. Right? So from the concept we can write what is the answer, so it is a shortcut. So the reason is given in the derivation. Right? So the option A is the correct answer. Thank you.